What up boys and welcome back to yet another gold farming video. So in today's video we're talking about something that was suggested from uh, viewers of mine and that is every single time when I make a, a video about fishing for gold even though I personally hate it there's always those fishing enthusiasts that wants me to make videos on more ways to make gold with fishing. So here I am. And before we dive into the video, big thank you to every single one of you guys that has picked up a copy of the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide. Appreciate the support and all the nice feedback on the Gold Guide. Now make sure you use the discount code DRAGONFLIGHT and you will get it for 50% off clicking the link down below. And if you already have the Gold Guide and you enjoy it and you're happy with it, you're definitely also going to enjoy the VIP Discord where you get to watch all my YouTube videos before they go live on YouTube. There's exclusive content like spreadsheets, gold tips, investments and much more. But that can also be found down below in the description. So in today's video, we want to talk about panda fishing, uh, specifically these battle pets right here, the tiny uh, red carp, blue carp, white carp and green carp. And there's a lot of uh, confusion around these battle pets and how to obtain them, but they can pretty much all be fished in panda. And if we look at them uh, individually, uh, battle pet for battle pet, the tiny blue carp, which is one of the more expensive ones, can only be fished in these red pools, right? Typically found on the Timeless Isle. Now, that's been confirmed many times over again in the Wowhead uh, section. So I would highly advise you to go to this pool right up here because Garnia, a rare elite, spawns up there that can drop the Ruby Droplet, another battle pet. So that is a great position to just camp a tune at. Uh, but if we look at the other battle pets, like the tiny green carp right here, this one can be fished in uh, Cross Orang Wilds, Jade Forest, and Valley of the Four Winds. There are some comments saying that they have received it in pools. However, there's a ton of people that confirms that it just drops in the open water, right? And it's the same thing if we look at the tiny white carp, which a lot of people believe can only be fished in like the mantis pools, but there's tons of people that stayed out of uh, like pools on purpose and only fished in the open water and they still managed to get the uh, the battle pets in Cross Orang Wilds, Kunlai, the Veiled Stair and also uh, the Jade Forest only has one confirmed drop so I would probably stick in Cross Orang Wilds or something like that. Uh, that way you can also get more like the, the different types of carps as well. And then the tiny red one is really interesting because once again, it is believed that it could only drop in pools, right? In like specific schools. But once again, you have absolute fishing legends that did fish in open water, right? Uh, for instance, this guy, 2000 casts, he eventually got it open water. Uh, so it can drop in the open water as well. Just stick to town long steps and you can get the tiny red carp. Uh, but just know that any of these battle pets, you can obtain them in open water. You don't need to hunt for schools, which makes it way easier to farm them. I remember my first video on some of these carps, like, I don't know, like seven, eight years ago. And we didn't have the information back then, so uh, I told everyone to go and fish in schools because that's what the fishing boys in the Wildwood comment section said. But luckily, that has changed. So if you guys decide to give this a go, please let me know how many casts uh, it did take you to obtain the battle pet. And even better, once you sell him, how much did you sell it for? But that's pretty much it for today's fishing video. And I, there's tons of ways to make gold with fishing uh, that I haven't covered yet. So if you guys are enjoying fishing videos, fishing in general, let me know uh, down below in the comment section and I'll... As long as there's people that want them, I can make more videos on it. So make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for that and you'll be notified whenever the next video goes up. And thanks so much for watching the video, guys. And I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.